Hi, I'm Jennifer Landry, Miss New Hampshire 1989. Tonight, I will take you on the path to becoming Miss New Hampshire, which is a state preliminary in the Miss America program, the largest scholarship program in America. You will meet Miss New Hampshire 1992, Rachel Petz, the contestants vying for the 1993 title, the staff and volunteers involved in the pageant. You will see the design and building of the sets for the production. I will take you to the preliminary rehearsals, the Miss New Hampshire fundraising ball, the dress rehearsal, and finally, the announcement of Miss New Hampshire 1993. every year is trying to get everyone assembled because everyone in production from the producer choreographers directors and um, the backstage crew it's all a group effort and it's all volunteer I'd have to say we're a pretty good group because we all seem to just blend really well so it doesn't take us a lot of time to put together what we're able to do and I think that's why it works as well as it does because volunteer um, if you had to take up a lot of time doing that it wouldn't work very well are you in your line? Are you the yeah. last one? Okay, you're the last one. Then you girls will come back up onto the stage. So when this starts, your little day by day is over, then it goes, now are in the game, and you guys are going to crisscross. Oh, so let me see. You start down. You just stay in the same line. Just come around over here, Molly, with your line. Mm -hmm. And you come around over here. And we'll just pretend that you're up the aisle. Me? <laughs> this should go this way. You go in front. Front. understand that when you're dealing with us, you're dealing with a bunch of volunteers who have only one thing in mind, and that is to do the best we can for you. But there's only one thing we got to expect in return, and that is for you to do the best for us that you can. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to read the part of the contract now that asks if you've always been a female, but I, you're going to hear it from me about three or four times. And this is the 47th annual that's sponsored by the Union Leader and New Hampshire Sunday News. Uh, our newspapers have sponsored the pageant uh, for more than 25 years. The, uh, of course, the Miss America system, when it first began in 1921, uh, all the state pageants were sponsored by uh, local or state newspapers. And we're proud to uh, still uh, retain it as one of our top or premier promotions here in New Hampshire. As the executive director, what are some of your responsibilities? Well, I think mainly is to keep the continuity of the, of the program from year to year. Uh, of course, uh, s soliciting uh, uh, sponsors and scholarship uh, sponsors for money for the pageant is extremely important as well. Uh, that's, those are probably two of the keys. It's, a, it's easily a, a six-month, uh, a year uh, project at the, anyway. I know that this year will be, uh, will be uh, the, best, uh, the best yet. And I can't thank Bill enough for his dedication and, and his loyalty to the Hampshire program. I'm damn glad that we got him in Connecticut and Massachusetts. Uh, with that, uh, Bill, uh, you're on. Thank you. One of the things that, that the Miss America program is trying to do is to move away from the glitz and glamour. 
uh, the queen. The queen concept, in many respects, is archaic. Um, you, you know, if you really think about it, given uh, the problems that we had today, given what happened in uh, Texas last week, and prison riots, and all the other things, the homelessness, and all the other issues in the world, it just seems very unrealistic to talk about sequins and jewels and crowns and rings and, and all that stuff. It really seems far-fetched. One of the things they're talking about, uh, for example, in, and you will hear it in this year's uh, uh, script, is we're going to try to avoid the use of the term rain. You know, Rachel has had a wonderful uh, year raining. Uh, what you're going to hear more is Rachel has had a wonderful year serving New Hampshire, or being in service to New Hampshire, because that's really, in many respects, what you're, what you're going to be doing. In the last uh, 22 years uh, or so that I've been uh, involved with it in various uh, phases, I think it's changed significantly, and I think it's, it's, it's a much stronger commitment to reality, to people. Uh, I, I know that people have a sense of, of thinking that pageants and, are, are very unrealistic and, and synthetic, and uh, that's one of the things I think is very unique about the Miss America program is that, that it, they make a real effort to bring out and enhance the individual. Uh, I think there's a real emphasis on intelligence, uh, the ability to be poised, the ability to present oneself, obviously the talent, which distinguishes it, of course, very much from uh, other so-called beauty pageants. It's really unfortunate that, that we have to use the word pageant or, or even beauty because I think the women are attractive. I mean, no, there's certainly no denying that, but beauty is not really the essence of what this program's about. I think it's, it's much more than outward beauty. It's, it's, it's a great deal of inward beauty as well. It's been very exciting, um, tiring, fun, a whole different multiple of things, and I've had a great time. It's, it's all actually sad that my year is coming to an end in a couple weeks. What has been your favorite part of your year? Going to Miss America is probably the most exciting part, I think, for every Miss New Hampshire because it's something you dream about. And when you're actually there on national television and in the production numbers and you get to perform in front of such a large audience, it's just a big thrill. Tell us how you feel now that the end of your reign is near. I'm a little bit sad, but I'm also I'm looking forward to it because I feel I've done everything I wanted to this year, and um, I'm ready to give the opportunity to someone else. What type of role are you playing this year in the pageant? Well, I'll be doing a lot of things. We'll be doing a couple production numbers. I'll be singing in the opening number. We'll be doing a phantom medley in the second half, and then I'll be um, dancing in a couple of the other ones and doing a finale solo after I give my farewell.
nice idea to start a ball to help raise the money for Miss New Hampshire so that she could have a better wardrobe. What are the planning stages like, Chuck? Well, they begin actually, next year's uh, planning begins tomorrow, <laughs> after this is over. Seriously, uh, we have to get our list prepared for the people that are here this year and get the tickets ready for next year. So it's an ongoing process throughout the year. Now, this is the fifth year for the ball. How has the ball grown over the past few years? Well, it has grown steadily. We not, No significant leaps and bounds, but we're growing about, uh, I would say, 18 to 20 percent per year. And the amount that we've contributed to Miss New Hampshire has grown uh, somewhat each year as well. I've attended every ball, my wife Susan and I, since I've been mayor. So this is my, must be my fourth one that I've come to. Are you enjoying yourself? We always enjoy ourselves. Uh, we come to the ball, we come to the luncheon, or I will be at the luncheon this year, and uh, we come to the pageant. It's, it's just delightful. So you've been to the pageant before, that was my next question. Oh, absolutely. This is a competition just like it is for any athletes. I don't think people realize that, you know, that all of the young ladies that are participating really have to be there. It is serious, strenuous training. They have to concentrate, and uh, they have to give it everything they have. It is a real competition. The ball is wonderful because when you go to Atlantic City, you have so much preparation you need to do. You need to buy wardrobe, and a lot of times you don't have the money, so the ball raises funds for wardrobe so you can spend your money more wisely and use it for schooling, which is really the purpose of the pageant. Now, this is a very fun event. What's your favorite part of it? I think the line dancing is my favorite because it gives everyone a chance to learn something new, and it's funny to have everyone out there kind of tripping over each other's toes and, and learning something new. Now, Jeff, you're Rachel's boyfriend. Are you having a nice time at the ball? Yes, I'm having a very nice time today. Now, as her boyfriend, I'm sure you've accompanied her on many events, as just like this one tonight. What kinds of events have you accompanied her to? Other kinds of events. Uh, parades, fairs, um, fundraisers, things like that. It is a lot of fun. I've met a lot of different people and uh, got to see in a lot of different places. And I've probably enjoyed it as much as she has. ideas and to get the right feel because the show is for the girls it's not for me so my hope is just to uh, make it work for them okay what's your favorite part of the program uh, just being involved in it it's a wonderful experience I love being around um, all these lovely young ladies and just having a wonderful time and just seeing it come off great Prepared yeah. overall. Yeah. Um, 
I know it used to be maybe a few of us um, watched and looked into what was going on a little bit more closely, but I think everybody is more aware of what goes into it. So I see everyone coming in very polished rather than maybe taking them a few years. They're already almost ready. But um, I think what I try to bring to the program is to let the girls know when they go to Atlantic City what's ahead of them. And a lot of times in the past, I don't think they were quite prepared on production, that the work that goes into it, and a lot of times if you're not ready, when you're on stage for the cameras in Atlantic City, that may be your only chance to be seen on TV, really, is in your production. So we try to let them know that it is a lot of work and also keep them prepared to compete on a nice high level, but also have the time and the mind to pay attention to production. Very short period of time. Actually, uh, two two uh, Sunday rehearsals and one full day rehearsal on, on Thursday, and a dress rehearsal on Friday. We do a show, and I think it's going to be an exciting thing, at least from my perspective. Uh, we're doing it's called Miss New Hampshire on Broadway, and uh, we're using Broadway music. And this is something that we've never done before uh, in New Hampshire. Well, uh, up to a few years ago, we didn't do themes. We did a lot of, I think, very wonderful music. Uh, um, but we decided to try to tie it into a theme several years ago, and, and this year uh, we have, and I think it's it's going to prove quite interesting. We're using a, a, a cast, an ensemble, which uh, we've not done before, and we're using a lot of medleys, which is something that has not uh, been seen before in the Miss New Hampshire pageant. So I, I think it's going to be unique, different, and I hope uh, very enjoyable for our audience. Please contact uh, the Krista McAuliffe Planetarium to remind our people up there that uh, this group's going to be arriving there about 2 o'clock this afternoon. Hey, so if you've got any extra baggage, they, they have, because we have our own advertiser, so they just took a picture. I coordinate all the pageants, which is local and, and uh, college pageants, and make sure that the girls get to this pageant in May. How long have you been doing this? As a field director, I've been doing it since 1979. I enjoy working with the girls. It's a great volunteer pageant, and mainly being a product of the Miss America system, having one scholarship money in college. I'm kind of repaying them back. so. You know, I'm all for the pageant and also a product of it. Switch places, with Jerry. Yeah. You keep your head to your left, just a little bit. Your that way. This is left. No, no. Look, just tip your head. Don't move your body. That's good. I need this. I need to see the young lady behind you. <laughs> Consider him um, a mentor uh, on the uh, certainly from the national level, and I'd like you to uh, greet him and, and hear a few words from Tom O'Rourke. Thank you very much. I'm going to try and uh, get through my remarks uh, rather quickly. I know that you are on a time schedule, but there's some important things that I think that I need to discuss with you and some of the changes. I'm the uh, national field director for the Miss America organization. I basically oversee the operation of our 50 state franchises on a year-round basis. So do you actually personally visit every state? 
Well, it's kind of tough for one person to do that. Last year I was in 29 states, the year before 33. So far this year it's been over 17. So I probably will be in the high 20s, low 30s before I'm done this year. Are you the only field director or are there others within the organization? No, there is but one who uh, controls and oversees the operation for all 50 franchises. We have excellent franchises across this country. New Hampshire is one of our model franchises because of the organizational efforts that they have here. And uh, they make my life very easy compared to some of the smaller ones that, uh, that don't have quite the organization as New Hampshire has. Because over the past seven decades, the Miss America program be has become an intrinsic institution of American society and American culture. It's an embodiment of traditional American values. It is a spectacle of grand entertainment and a reflection of women's emergence as a force in social life. In the past, Miss America was the pinnacle of American womanhood. The ravishing beauty who would make the most wonderful wife, most wonderful mother, and most wonderful friend. But who is Miss America today? And what does the institution of Miss America stand for? And most importantly, what kind of woman will Miss America be in the years ahead? And what image will she hold for the next generation as we approach the year 2000? These are just some of the questions that uh, we are vigorously analyzing on the national level. We're trying to answer them in a compelling public way. If Miss America is to continue representing the mainstream of American womanhood and to finish this decade and millennium as a positive force in women's lives and an inspirational symbol for Americans. As Miss America uh, continues to approach its 75th anniversary in uh, two more years, we face a new and more sophisticated and demanding audience worldwide, not just in America, but worldwide. We must work to redefine the image of Miss America in today's changing values and interests. Who is Miss America today? In keeping with the Miss America mission, she should be the ideal woman of the 90s. But what defines that woman? We don't know yet, and we are still trying to find it. For in these days, when gender distinctions raise controversy, the most important definition of Miss America should not be as a woman, but it should be as an American. And I just thank you all very much for taking 10 minutes to listen to what I had to say this afternoon. Thank you. We give Miss New Hampshire a gown, and last year, Rachel competed in her gown at Atlantic City. So that was really exciting to have her be able to use our gift. How many years have you been a sponsor? Six years. And what motivates you to continue as a sponsor? Well, I think these girls need support from their community and their state, and they need to uh, see all of us banding together, because one year we're yeah, going to see I a Miss America. I'm more amazed by the incredible generosity that all the sponsors give. And this year I was also showered with many gifts and services that I will always treasure and remember. And I would just like to thank all of you for making my year so incredibly special. Um, it really means a lot and it really has made me feel very special this year. Um, it's, it's a lot, I know, for you to give. And some of the gifts were so big, like the car, the cellular phone. <laughs> Myself, along with two other dealers in the state of New Hampshire, we donate an automobile for uh, Mr. Hampshire's use all during uh, the time that she is uh, reigning as uh, Miss New Hampshire. And how many years have you been doing this? Uh, this is our third year that we've been associated with the pageant. We were associated uh, quite some time ago and then got away from it and then we saw the value of it, uh, both from an educational standpoint and a little bit of notoriety for New Hampshire, so we decided we better get back into it. We have grown in leaps and bounds and our success is in due in large part to a very strong, very female management team that we have. <laughs> This year we made a small donation of some health source gym bags, which are very nice canvas bags with zippers that they can use for to store their things and to use afterwards, go to the gym or whatever they want to do with it. They're very useful. And we also donated some sweatshirts that have the health source name and logo on them. And how many years have you been a sponsor for the program? This is our first year uh, being a sponsor and uh, we're very excited about it, so I know we're going to be discussing what we can do in the future. <laughs> just, just stand there loosely for a minute. The rest of you ladies. Uh, 
Well, the rest of you ladies want you down in the grass, I'm sorry. That's okay. I'm missing uh, the lectures. Good. That's all there is to it. It looks like it's flat. Wow. Oh, good, yeah. That's great. It's a good size, too. And the rose to go along with it. Yeah. This has been quite the day. Yeah, it's been interesting, that's for sure. We were here until 11 last night. <coughs> Looks great. I got a sneak preview of the, set, uh, the, uh, the script. I okay. like the bowl. Yeah, we got the toodles wow. of time. Wow. Yeah, the toodles of time. What's a toodle? Uh, these five to seven been involved with the Paris uh, scene now since. Today? I've uh, been doing this since 1980. Thoroughly enjoy doing it. I've been around and I've seen these scripts and I've worked with Bill, the producer. Uh, I understand what he's trying to do and from that point on, I'm just one of those pressure release valves. This year I'm gonna be pulling curtains. I pull curtains, I've done house backstage announcing. I've done uh, painting. I mean, uh, probably painted 20 or 30 of these risers, which is always a fun activity. Can we just... Take two seconds to take them down and... Yeah. One of the things you may want to consider is for tomorrow morning, if you don't have your backdrops down, that before we leave tonight, having the uh, opening number, staging all done. It depends on how much we get done and how much time, you know, once. You may want to sacrifice the time of the set and get the uh, opening stuff so we can get these guys out of the way. Lay them down somewhere. That doesn't need paint. Oh, that one there, but that one does. Yeah. Okay, let's just throw it down. Why don't we uh, put the legs up? Yeah, because we're going to have to do some setup with you. Yeah. This is a smart one. I am nervous. I think um, I'm always nervous before a performance, but it's a good kind of nervous energy. What are your expectations for tomorrow? I think tomorrow's going to go just as fast as the last nine and a half months have. <laughs> and um, I think it's going to be very exciting because I have a lot of people coming to see me, so no matter what, there's going to be a great party afterwards. <laughs> trying to get psyched up mentally and trying to sleep too <laughs> <laughs> trying to do everything at once yeah. it, it's been hard but it's worth it because we've met a lot of good friends <laughs> are you nervous or anxious about anything well I'm contestant number one so I'm a little I'm getting a little nervous now but I really don't get that nervous especially for the interview because if they don't like me then they don't like me but <laughs> I'm gonna try to have a good time most of all, I'm, I'm just excited about everything. I'm looking forward to the interview. I think the show will be an, a great experience with the new interview techniques, and I'm really excited for them to get to know me, who I am. Can you explain the new interview techniques for us? Sure. This year we're having um, a new interview where you go in and you're, you introduce yourself to the judges and you're allowed two minutes to speak about anything. can be on your platform, can be about yourself. And then hopefully the next ten minutes will be triggered from that first two minutes. That should be lit. You got the switches off? Trying to uh, do a uh, much more sophisticated and, and t a technically much more complicated show has uh, created considerable anxiety for the production staff. I think, uh, uh, for example, on Tuesday night uh, they were here uh, from 6 to almost 11. They were here till close to midnight last night. Uh, we're trying desperately to avoid a rehearsal this evening because I think the contestants need the opportunity to just sort of relax a bit and, and certainly to unwind after the interview uh, uh, competition this afternoon. So as a result, I th I'm, I'm, you know, we're, we're a little anxiety-ridden at this point and, and hoping that we're going to uh, knock them dead tomorrow.